Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Guns Locked. I'm Gunther the Great, and today we're gonna be talking about Scrim's Dreadlocks. Now this guy right here, you guys have requested him many times, and I feel like I needed to make a review on this because you guys really wanted it. So without wasting time, let's just jump straight into it. So on this first picture, from the outside looking in, I believe that this man is Caucasian, but he could be Hispanic, it could be anything. I don't know anything about him besides you guys wanted to request. And this is his hair. It is very wispy, and I've seen dreadlocks like this before. And this is kind of how straight hair dreadlocks look. They are very wispy at the ends and if they are not maintained if they're not crochet hooked or if they're not palm rolled this is the way they would look which his dreadlocks do have form and they're not super messy compared to how they could be considering that he is caucasian or straight haired we'll just leave it at that straight haired i can see why you guys wanted to review with this guy's hair because he has a pretty interesting hairstyle he does have his hair bleached he definitely does have it in dreadlocks and it's not even the tips that are bleached when it comes to his dreadlocks the whole dreadlock is pretty much bleached his roots are his natural hair color which is like a dark brown moving on to this next photo it is black and white so you can't really see much in it but he has his hair pulled up in a top bun or as a lot of people call it they call it a pineapple top if you were to look at his hairline you can see the separation within his dreadlocks and that's a good thing and also you can see in this picture that he does have high top dreadlocks so he has the high top fade on the sides which looks really clean you get kind of the best of both worlds when you have the high top dreadlocks because you have almost the messy or the pretty much all the hair on top and then you have the clean fade on the side so it's really the best of both worlds and you can have like the lineup with the contrast of having the dreadlocks but yeah what what i think this picture shows the most is the separation between his dreadlocks and you can see the roots and you can see that his hair is actually separated very well the only thing you can't really tell based on what we've seen so far is what method he's used to get his dreadlocks but i can go ahead and list off a few methods that he could have been using since his hair is straight he could have easily used the rip and twist method to start off if he would like there is no way 100 that he would have twisted his hair because his hair is straight in order for his hair to look like this um he could have used crochet method which is just crochet hooking his hair which that is probably possible that he might have done and another thing that i may have seen in another photo that it looks like he actually has been interlocking his hair so moving on to this next photo you can see that his hair is still wispy and with the backlight behind him it does show all the freeziness of his hair but that's really just expected when you have straight hair with dreadlocks there is going to be hair that is going to be sticking out if you do not maintain it with like a crochet hook and that is the best way to solve this issue is with freeziness is with a crochet hook but yeah with him having straight hair as dreadlocks do look nice considering his hair is straight and it is tough to pull off when you have straight hair it's not easy and moving on to this next photo i do believe this is him i can't really tell because his face is covered with his hand but if this is him which i'm pretty sure it is his hair looks way more maintained right here you can see that the freeziness has calmed down that all of his loose ends are pulled in together and i'm pretty sure he accomplished this with crochet hooking his hair and it looks like he's actually twisting the roots of his hair to actually just line everything up and separate his roots which at the point when your hair is actually locked up you can twist it just to maintain it to make it look nicer with straight hair and it looks like that's what he's doing if you can tell on the right temple of him almost that that dreadlock is for sure twisted and that makes me think that the rest of his dreadlocks are twisted at this point and i think you can kind of tell that there is some interlocking done on some of the dreadlocks in this picture um just on the looks of it but i'm almost positive that he did interlock and you'll be able to tell for sure in some of these next photos now here's a photo before his dreadlocks his hair just looks really messy right here this could be the start of his dreads you can see some separation on both ends but you don't really see no locking whatsoever you just see his hair kind of messy very frizzy pretty much wavy his hair is not completely straight but it's wavy and this hair is still hard to lock up because it's not curly it's not super tight and it is pretty cool to see how people with this hair type get dreadlocks because they have to go through so much of a process to get to where they want to be but yeah that's him pretty much before the dreadlocks and here's the photo i'm talking about when i say that he's interlocked you can see on the right side of the picture that really big dreadlock and you can almost see as if it looks like it's braided but i don't think it's from braiding his hair i think it's from the interlocking process and his hair is more maintained in this picture um all of his hair is actually pulled tight you can see the roots with his top of his forehead and that his roots are very clean and there's still separation at the root and that's good as well um shows that he's maintaining his hair he's not just letting it go that he actually appreciates his hairstyle and he's trying to keep it and you can see also on the right side of his head looking in that it looks like it's interlocked or even tied up how lil pump did his hair which could also be possible and you can almost see that on all of his dreadlocks that there is some sort of maintenance that he's taking uh, to speed up the process in order for his hair to actually lock up. Now moving on to this last photo, he has his hair pulled up in the pineapple 
Apple again with the high top fade. And this is probably a further back photo because you can see that his hair is very wispy at the ends. You can kind of tell, but it is out of focus on his hair, mostly focused on his face, but you can see the freeziness on his hair and see how far he's come. Going back and forth between this photo and the last photo I shown. I think the last photo I showed you guys was more recent and that's how his hair is looking now. But this is a kind of throwback of his hair, I'm assuming. And his hair has came a long way, especially having straight or wavy hair. It does take a long process. Gotta give him credit for putting that patience in in order to get the hairstyle they wanted. But you guys, that is the highly requested Scrims dreadlocks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you guys have not already. And I also do have another channel, guys. It's my daily vlog. I post videos every single day. If you want to see my lifestyle, see, if you want to see my lifestyle, and see kind of behind the scenes of everything you guys can definitely go subscribe to that it's gone through the great link is always in the description and guys we hit 25,000 subscribers that is insane thanks so much for all of the love we are definitely on the road to 50k and and i do believe that is going to come soon so thank you so much for all the love other than that i'll see you guys next time peace